everyone, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm back with another build challenge and this time it is a build challenge created for me specifically by my friend Magpie Cliff who is also over on YouTube. Her link is going to be in the description box. She's also done this video so please make sure to check it out. Give her a like. Let be subscribe at that let's subscribe but the challenge is we've called it be my boss challenge because we've given each other rules for what we've got to build so i've not actually checked this out yet i think i had a quick peek and i saw like how much money i had like my money limit i had to spend but nothing else but already please don't hate me is making me feel a little bit nervous but let's have a look so we've got a few rules here are the rules money limit 71 thousand simoleons that's quite a lot of money to work with i think mm, number of floors three okay Okay, tile 71. So it's gonna be quite a small house, which I feel like might be quite difficult to do over three floors, but we'll work it out. Nine rooms feels like a lot of rooms and four sims. So we're gonna have to have two bedrooms. Yeah, actually the Sims relationship, two couples. So two double bedrooms, maybe like a small community house. Okay, bonus info about inhabitants. They all want to get a buff and they love gadgets. Okay, so maybe one of the rooms has to be like a little gym and also computers and gadgets, I don't know. Forbidden objects, this, I've just read plants. I was gonna say forbidden objects, this could be bad. And when I read plants, I'm like, yes, that is bad. I'm not allowed to put any plants down. But the greenery, except for weeds and trees outside. Okay, so we're gonna have a forest because if we can't have plants inside, they're having a forest outside. Must include this object, outdoor bathtub. All right, so is that like for bathing or can I make that into a sculpture? piece. Colour rule, no neutral colours for doors and windows. So all the doors and windows have to be quite colourful. Style has to be trashy. The inha inhabitants have a bad taste. They are hoarders and they love a good animal print. Just my style. Great. <laughs> Bonus rule, one room must have all diagonal walls. Oh my goodness, this is going to be tricky. I decided to build in Britchester just because it's really beautiful and I don't build in Britchester enough. But I think firstly I'm going to go ahead and and just make it three stories. So that's four to eight tiles if we just go up, up, up. <laughs> but I think we can make it a little bit more interesting than that, don't you? Also somehow need to fit loads more rooms in here. So I'm gonna do it so we have a little entrance way and maybe that can be its own little room. I don't know why I've decided to make it such an odd shape. And then we could have that like as a little archway and it's basically not a room, but still a room. So we're abiding to the rules. I was gonna say we could do like a little rooftop garden, but what's the point? Because we can't have plants. I'm gonna do it like that anyway, just so we can maybe do something interesting with fences and I don't know. I don't know, roofs, roofs, what I was thinking. Maybe have a little room just jutting out. Oh, we need to do the diagonal room actually. Oh my gosh, that's so shape that is a strange shape oh my goodness okay i think i've managed to do the layout and it actually worked that took so much more time than i think i've ever spent on working out the layout in my life this is also the weirdest shaped house i think i've ever ever built in my life i don't know how i'm gonna make it good but on the first floor we've got one two three four rooms i've been a bit cheeky and made the hallways like the tiniest room but there's four then five six seven on the second that's gonna be a bathroom somehow don't know I haven't worked out, haven't thought that far yet. Um, also, there's no way that I can make rooms where beds are accessible from both sides. Like, I just don't think it's possible. And then we've got eight. Oh, actually, we've got 10 rooms there. Oh, oh, I can get rid of a room. I've counted that right. We'll get rid of that. I prefer it more open. Okay, then, next rule that we've got to work on is I think it's going to have to be the no neutral colours for doors and windows. Somehow, have to make that look good. But by neutral colours, my beautiful favourite things in the world and not all these horrible bright colours. I don't know whether to just go completely like super bright because I mean they have got bad taste hoarders I'd love a good animal print rather than at least trying to make things match should I just go all out I'm gonna at least try and make it look good from the outside that's my goal inside a whole different story okay a few different window styles like somehow mixed into this weird house but I feel like it kind of works this is where I'm at so far so I've attempted to like make it look kind of similar to that house over there I mean it's all looking a little bit uneven I'm thinking uh, but I don't know how to fix it now that I've made like spent all this time making that in exterior look kind of nice I'm gonna have to go ahead and just ruin it completely ruin it with the interior because the style is trashy trashy chic not even chic just trashy let's at least 
just go ahead and put some weeds down. Seeing as we can't add any plants, <laughs> at least have some lights around the place, like at least at the front. Okay, that is my exterior. I don't want to spend any longer on the exterior now. Maybe I'll add one more cherry blossom tree because we've got some over there. So I feel like we've got an excuse to add cherry blossom. And wait, she said trees. She didn't say don't use trees. Let's add like a nice big one. Or is that going to really come into the house? Right, so there's the exterior. Now let's somehow, somehow do the interior hard. Hard, hard, hard. She said that the doors inside have also, they're not allowed to be neutral either. So interesting. Don't know how it's going to work. I kind of want to just do like a huge mixture of things. I definitely want a archway here. We'll have that there because it's kind of fancy. I'm going to go with these because they're pretty okay. So we've got one room into the downstairs gym. We've said, oh my gosh, the trees, the trees are making things really hard to decorate. Okay, I'm going to delete the tree for now, but it will come back. Ugh. Oh, not enjoying, not enjoying this. We're gonna make it all really trashy inside now. <laughs> At least we can use neutral colors though. There was nothing about not using neutral colors for anything but the doors. I'm just gonna go ahead and put laminate down because laminate just fixes everything in my opinion. I also need to keep in mind that they have bad taste, <laughs> so. I need to find some like tiles that are a bit garish for the bathroom, I think. Like a yellow bathroom, that's kind of bad taste, but also I feel like I could make it look good. So one of the bathrooms is gonna have yellow tiles. The other one's gonna have these tiles that I really just do not like and would never ever in a million years choose for myself. And um, same goes for the wallpaper then. I kind of wanna have something. Oh, she said they're like animal print. Do I have any animal print wallpaper? And then we can get that over and done with. I really don't think I do. I just don't think I'd ever see an animal print piece of custom content and be like, yes, need that in my game. How do I make it trashy? How do I make it trashy but still look good? Okay, we've got to have this mustache wallpaper somewhere because the inhabitants have bad taste. And to me, <laughs> nothing says bad taste like mushroom decorations around the house. Not mushrooms, mustache decorations around the house. I'm really sorry if that just offends people. If you guys are mush, I'm mush, I can't say the word, I'm mustache enthusiastics when it comes to little furniture pieces like. I do apologise, but I am not. I don't want to do the walls all white because I feel like that that's just not how bad taste works. White walls are beautiful. Beautiful, classic, but not trashy. Maybe boring, but nobody, nobody needs to, we don't need to go that far into it. Maybe magnolia. In my opinion, magnolia walls everywhere just... It just makes me a little bit unhappy. Maybe this. This is like, that's the magnolia colour that I must say I'm not a fan of. This is what we've got so far with the little living room. So we've got a little coat rack. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a coat rack. That's not really bad taste, but we needed it. I didn't want to add like too many pictures on the moustache wallpaper because... Um, I mean, why would you want to take away from it? I mean, maybe we'll find something. All the all the custom content I download is stuff that I like, so I'm finding it hard to find things that I call bad taste. Oh my god, I just... The sim stuff is bad taste in my opinion, but I can't. I can't make myself put it down because it's just maybe like having random paintings of people around the house. I can't, I can't do it. I don't know what's bad taste and what's good taste. I've lost all sense of self. These these could definitely definitely be seen as bad taste okay that's the, that's the living room i hate it i hate it but that's the whole point of it isn't it okay i'm gonna go ahead and do the kitchen now how can you have a bad taste kitchen room kitchen room kitchen green kitchen and a pink fridge and red windows or maybe do we just have a whole pink kitchen some may say bad taste but others may say it's a pink kitchen how can you go wrong do you know what is bad taste having this trash can <laughs> Also, need to remember that it needs to be really like cluttered and like hoarder it. So I'm putting some shelves up and we can just clutter it up with lots of random things. Decided that they are in, they enjoy a good mug. So they're that that's one of their hoarder things. Some mugs, I'm like, oh, that's a tiny mug. Let's make that a bit bigger. Just, yeah, just some really, really fancy ones. Some also not fancy ones. Charity shop mugs. Really want to put that mug in, but we're not allowed plants because Magpie Cliff hates me. We'll have like a whole one full of the weird little statues that I've got and don't really know why. Um, yeah, it's looking interesting. 
I'm just gonna make it so that they've got so many of everything. So like cutting boards, they've got about 20, even though why do you need this many cutting boards? Like that's a strange little cutting board, but they're gonna have it. The entry needs a little bit of work. They can have some like really fancy tiles when you first come in. It also feels like quite townhouse to me to do that, I don't know. But also it really clashes, but I kind of like it. So I can't do it. I wanna change this to a different color. I'm gonna make this blue so it matches the entrance way, but really does not match. <laughs> the door oh i just really want to put a plant i want to put a plant right there but i can't can't and it makes me really sad that i can't next room that i'm going to do then i'm going to do the gym i just feel like it oh uh, uh, is what i feel like because i don't know how to make it look good i just try so hard to make my builds look good and now i'm like going out of my way to make them look bad and i just i'm struggling i know there's not i know it's not much i really don't have much like gym custom content if i'm being honest all right one side can be a little gym then the other side i'm gonna have to do something different because i really don't know do not have enough custom content they said they're into gadgets so i don't know how to fill this little light diagonal area what about some interesting electronic thing we could have oh we could have a music station there we go they've got like a little i know it's music it's ele electronics it's something that if someone said to me use it i'd be like I don't know how also why is the lighting so horrible in this room like <laughs> why is the blind that's supposed to be white okay blinds on that one curtain on that one because the, the lighting's not messed up but then we've got like a little half gym a half technology room i feel like we need to put some inspirational prints up here there we go a little inspirational quote corner i actually think they're really cute but oh, i don't really know what else to do i feel like it needs to be more hoarder in here but also if you're working out you really don't want that many things so i'm gonna i'm gonna just leave it let's move upstairs then there's really not much we can do in this little room here because it's probably the smallest room i think i've ever had maybe we'll just put a cute little like rug in here even though the door wants to get in my way this this is my idea of the worst rug. Maybe we can match this room and make this just a striped room. That's one trashy hallway. What do we think? Very trashy, very not good. Just going to delete that because that bed frame is too nice. Too nice for what we're doing today. What I also hate is when people have bathrooms so they've got the towels on the floor and then like the same print on the wall like that. It makes me feel dizzy. It makes me feel like... <laughs> I'd feel sick if I went into that room. So we're doing it. Also, I'm tr gonna have to try and fit like a shower in here. I think if we use the university shower across here and then <laughs> I can't tell where the floor stops and the ceiling starts. That kind of fits. It, look, it looks handmade. I don't know where we're gonna fit the toilet. <laughs> I don't think there's enough room for a sink in a toilet. Maybe we'll put the sink in the bedroom. I'm gonna put like a mirror in front of the toilet because <laughs> do you know I hate that when in public restrooms you sit down on the toilet and there's a mirror right in front of you and then you're just literally watching yourself on the toilet. <laughs> I feel like that's really bad taste. So. There you go, so you can literally watch yourself pee and feel really ill that you're in a room where the tiles are just too much. Okay, definitely an interesting bathroom very interesting like i said we're gonna have to have the sink out here so i feel like in uni rooms they do this quite a lot they have if you have a ensuite in your room they often put the sink outside which is very strange and it, i always wondered why like why couldn't they just fit it in the room or, or maybe that's just an english thing <laughs> if i put the door there hopefully sims can still get in i want to go for like an animal print bed but i really don't know which if we even have that oh we've got this i wish i wish it didn't have big like fail it's going in this room we're having an animal print bed beautiful gorgeous i really want like matching animal print wallpaper but i really i don't i can't find it i've really looked maybe like a little crate wall and then we can put random things in the crate wall that can be a space for all their hoarder goodness i know it doesn't match the kind of bougie leopard print bedspread and beautiful big bed but top row is little animal sculptures that I've collected. Next one is model cars. Next one is gnomes. Don't act like you weren't expecting it. Next one is some clocks. Make that one pink. Then we've got some clocks. Also found these masks that I seem to just use in all my builds. So they these are going on the walls that obviously have them in every single color because they hoard creepy masks and they're gonna watch them. Oh my, that one, that one is horrible. Like that is horrible, it's so creepy. Next one is Star Wars figurines. <laughs> And then I think the rest I'm just going to do is books because I'm kind of running out of categories. And I'm going to fill up the wall with movie posters that I've got in this movie hangout set over here because they collect this room, they collect like posters of things. 
And there we go, that is this very interesting bedroom that would probably make me cry if I had to live in it. Maybe we'll pour a rug in. Can we have, is there a nice rug? What about this one that really clashes with the bed print? Yes. Also, can you see how I was like really trying at the start to make this house look good? But now it is not turning out good and it's turning out into a bit of a mess. But onto the last floor now, even though I haven't forgot about the bathtub, the outdoor bathtub. I think I'm gonna do the same thing where we'll have a bathroom that is all matchy matchy. Again, somehow try and squeeze everything in i'm going to give myself more room by putting the door there maybe on this wall we can have like a little collection of mirrors just a few on here i see i kind of like that look i think it's quite a nice look there we go mirror collection wall see yeah that looks kind of cool kind of cute this so far is my favorite room <laughs> should i ruin it and put a separate print bath mat in what how we're gonna make this good i feel like we'll make this into a really gadgety room so i'm gonna make it like really quite geometric which again not a bad look but i feel like when you've got too much of it together perhaps a bad look i really want to fit like a little desk and a really like good computer maybe it can fit in just over here it is definitely not accessible but i feel like we've gone past that now just do we need things to be usable is anyone ever going to use this house probably not get them like this real gadgety desktop okay i mean interesting very interesting I don't know what else to do in here oh my gosh they've not even got one wardrobe like they literally can't fit they can't have clothes they can have gadgets but no clothes maybe we can like fit one up here downstairs there was no chance i know it like goes in front of the window but bad taste yep <laughs> okay then this is the last room done oh uh, i'm gonna leave it here now because i've just i don't know what else to add this maybe isn't quite as hoardery upstairs but they've got gadgets so it's ticked off gadgets I, I just i feel like this is the worst interior i've ever done but also interesting the lighting's like really bad and i don't know why okay last thing that we need to do then we need to somehow incorporate an outdoor bathtub i still i don't know if she meant that it had to be like usable or if i could make it interesting i'm gonna make it look like a trashy bathtub okay i'm gonna leave it here let me show you my little trashy outdoor area so we've got a bathtub with weeds growing out of it and also i felt like it had fit so we've got an, ab an abandoned sofa that's also things growing out of it and you can just imagine it's full of books and if you sat on it you just you wouldn't feel clean ever again but there we go there is my house decided by magpie cliff probably the most the hardest like interior i've ever had to do in my life not being dramatic at all but probably the hardest you one little last tour just because i know it's beautiful and you, you needed to see it once again we've definitely got a few hoardery elements going on we've got the little gym gym room to show that they like to get buff upstairs we've got a hallway that let's not even because it's disgusting leopard print bed and lots of hoardery things sink in a different room bathroom that gives me a headache looking at it but similarly 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 upstairs except i like the yellow and i like the fact that we've got loads of mirrors on the wall and then a bit more of a gadget to room i feel like this is probably my favorite room because it's not as in your face but the red window still put me off a little bit. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. Let me know if you think it's horrible in the comments below because yes, I agree. But I've had fun doing it. So thank you so much, Magpie Cliff, for collaborating with me. Like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you check out her video where you'll see what kind of rules I've given her and see how she works with it. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think and I shall see you all next time. Bye.